Okay. Regulate a rectifier upgrade. Um, so basically replacing these two components here, which came off the bike. So this is the um, rectifier. This is the regulator. Um, so I've bought this as a universal um, 12 volt regulator rectifier. Uh, and it's the type which has got, it's a 5 wire. But it's got the red, pink, black, green, yellow wires. Um, I think you can get these with the with the four wire, which is what you need. A four wire plug this end and a loose black wire, but um, they are a little bit more money than just getting this universal one. So that's what I'm going with. So basically, this five pin plug here has got to come off, and those four coloured wires have got to go into a four pin plug, which I'm going to see if I can reuse this one. I've got some new spade ends, new terminals in there. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to reuse this plug on here and this black which would be the black off the um, uh, regula regulator um, yeah so we've just got to put a bullet end connector on that odd black there and the only other problem with these is I think this is quite a common thing um, is to mount it on the bottom of the battery box which is where the old regulator came from off there that's where that fitted so I'm basically going to fit that there the only problem being that the holes in these do not line up with the holes in here so I've just elongated these holes so that should now just bolt onto there but I will just do this plug in first while it's loose It'll be a lot easier to work on and the other thing I'm going to do is what's known as the <laughs> for want of a better phrase uh, the yellow white wire conversion or mod but um, which is done in the headlight shell on the CB350 so I will, but we'll get to that later. We'll sort this bit out first and wire this in. Um, yeah, the other the other mod just basically gives you more output from the alternator, which this can handle. These modern things can handle that, and uh, should give you a bit better charging for the battery. So yeah. I'll do this off camera, there's no point in um, basically just going to cut that off because these are small pins and let's say there are five of them and I need four pin like that so I'll just cut these off, crimp on the new terminals put it into the new block or the old the old block rather right, that's those crimped on, I've just got to push them, push them uh, back in that block, or into that block and one thing I will say, you do need the correct tool for doing these type of connectors um, you need the one, and it probably won't show up very well, but it's in that side it's like the shape of a little, kind of like a W so it pushes the these ends in to the wire like that. I might even just put a drop of solder in there just to make sure, but yeah, they're pretty pretty solid anyway. Uh, so I've just got the bullet connector to put on there. Put this block on, bolt this on, 
Um, yeah, and that'll be that bit just about done. So that bolted on there. Uh, it's actually quite difficult to get a um, 10 mil spanner in there. Socket you can't get on, it's too tight to this edge. Um, would have been better if I'd have had some little Allen bolts, would have been better to fix that on, but it's on there now anyway. And uh, there's the plug on, and that's the little um, bullet on there. So this is actually the switched 12 volt on here. The uh, let's get this right. The pink and the yellow in there are the two AC inputs from the alternator. The red goes to battery positive and the green is ground. So that's that on there. Um, I've just got to put the bracket back on there for the starter solenoid. And uh, this can this bit can be bolted back in and connected up. I'll just show you where the connections are. Uh, so this here, are we? So that's the. So this is basically the other end of the the wiring from the alternator. So it comes out here through there, in through the loom, and back out there. So that's that one, and the black one just connects to, should be a double one here somewhere, this one. So that's that black double one in this loom with the, on this end with the boot on it. So that's where that black connect, and that's where the other end of the red rec connects to. So I can get that fitted now. Uh, let's forget to put this earth back on, which goes on here, and then this can all be sort of tidied up a bit, and that'll be a little bit more of the electrics done. Oh, yes, and the other thing, which is the yellow wire, white wire <laughs> mod, so you've got these two which come in this main loom, loom here. There's a, a yellow, which has got this little connector on the end, this funny little odd bit here. And the white one, which is this one here, which has this yellow stripe on it. So these basically go back to the alternator. So what you do is unplug this, which I can't do one-handed, but basically unplug this little connector here, this odd bit, and plug the yellow into the white, like that. So it just gives you the a permanent, it's the additional coil that's in the alternator, so it just gives you a, a permanent feed from that. Normally these go up to the switch, the handbar switch, which is over here. So they would normally connect up to one of these whites here and this yellow which comes up to here. So when you switch your lights on it will bring in that other um, that other coil off the uh, off the alternator. So you're basically short circuit in this taking this bit of the switch out Obviously the other bits will still do the lights, but it um, just means you've permanently got that other coil in the circuit, rather than just switched in. Uh, yeah, so that should be just about that, apart from fitting it in. And I can, I'm just waiting for another switch for this. Um, this the one that was on here was incorrect on this end the left hand so I'm just waiting for one of those then I can feed it back through here 
done with this one, so I've fed this one, but I put some new heat shrink on here. Fed that back in. For the switch here, because the starter was playing up, so I think I've, I've basically stripped that down, I've resoldered it on, so hopefully that will be okay now, this end. Uh, yeah, so kind of getting somewhere now with the electrics. that's that fitted the battery box is in just got a couple of bolts to put in um, yes yeah, so I've got the wiring come out this side this is the feed which is in that four pin block I've just pulled the black wire back out of this sleeve because it needs to go across to this side where this big rubber boot is and connects to this black connector here into one of these that's a double connector there so it just plugs into one of them so that's the switch live um yeah so that's got to be it's got to go in there but this is all a bit cracked here so i just want to rewrap that first uh don't think i'll be able to get heat string over there Unless I can de-pin that, I should probably just wrap it. I think will be the best thing to do with that. And these connections here, there's a this yellow one. There's a yellow and a green. I think we have two greens here. The one's a male, one's a female, so it should be a. I think it's those two there. They were the two that were connected to the um, the old regulator. So that one just needs to be taped off so it can't short to earth. That's an AC connection there. Uh, uh, sorry, that's not an AC, is it? I don't think it's an AC. It might be. Yeah, it just needs to be blocked off anyway, so I don't need to use it. And uh, that's a ground, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Not sure what that one is. Can't remember. Green with the yellow stripe. I'll have to have a look on the Warren diagram. Uh, try to think what else is down this side. Uh, Brake switch is the other side. Yeah, not so sure what that is. I'll have to have a look. Yeah, so actually that is the um, the rear brake switch, which is here. It's got a green, yellow, and a black. So obviously the that's the other black in there, and that's the green yellow. 